if you try to be all things to all people, you end up being nothing to no one. And you have to define, clearly define uh, your niche and your demographic that you want to target. Number one piece of advice to anyone, find a niche, go as narrow as humanly possible, and then build all your systems around dominating that niche. And, you know, people in real estate, just as in insurance, they do a terrible job at this because, you know, they're hungry for commissions. So they'll sell whatever to whoever, you know, just for the sake of, of earning money. You can't do everything. You can't sell everything. You can't talk to everyone and you spread yourself too thin and you become an expert in nothing. It seems counterintuitive, right? Like, Hey, I want to go reach a ton of people. I want to go make a ton of sales. Like I need to have a big audience, a big potential market, a big target market, a big group that I can uh, sell to. That's how I'm going to make the most money. That's how I'm going to make the most sales. No, it's not. The more narrow that you get, the more it gives you the ability to go all in on that niche and build all your systems around serving those individuals. And that's been the the key uh, to our success because we've built all of our systems around how to find that person, how to speak their language, how to get them to a buying decision quickly. And that's all we do. We don't sell anything to anyone else and we won't sell anything else to that person. Riches and niches. We know that to be true, but let's start looking outside of just the actual business that you're doing within that niche and start looking at how we can help other people in other areas of the country, maybe even other areas of the world, be able to master that very same niche and then being able to master their own niche by the way that you mastered yours. You got to start thinking outside the box because that's the one excuse that I always hear when it comes to getting narrower and narrower and narrower. There's this scarcity mentality of feeling like, well, I'm just eliminating potential clients. I'm eliminating potential customers. I'm eliminating potential people that I could help provide my service to. Again, it's all about becoming an absolute expert at what you do. If there is that fear of, of scarcity because you feel like it may be too narrow, I think you can broaden your broaden your um, your mindset on the fact that, well, what if you did become the absolute expert in a very, very, very narrow niche? Well, then you can coach everybody around the country and maybe even around the world on how to market to that niche. Now, all of a sudden, you can leverage that in a huge way, again, social media is going to be the way to do that, but you could start a podcast on how to sell to people that are getting out of the military. How many military bases are there in the country? A ton. How many people are getting out of the military every year? A ton. How many agents would love to be able to focus in and attract that market with VA loans? A ton. Like there's, there's way more than just the immediate area that you're in and, oh, well, there's only this many homes that are going to be sold in that area. Yeah, but if you become the absolute expert in it, next thing you know, you're speaking at conferences to other agents that do the same thing, and it opens up just opportunity after opportunities. You can have multiple streams of income by doing what you do at a very high level and then teaching other people to do the same thing. <music>